Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general love reading. This reading is going to be for Divine Masculine. We're going to pull into the Divine Masculine's energy and see what is going on in this current time and space. I hope this video finds you guys having an amazing time. I hope you are taking advantage of this family energy to laugh. Laughter is very, very good and therapeutic for the soul. So this is going to be a general read. It's not going to resonate with everyone here. Uh, so this Divine Masculine says that you are all I need. So they're thinking about something that's for, for, it seems like whoever this divine masculine is, they're doing some spiritual work on themselves because you have a uh, spiritual growth, spiritual power, abundance, and love. It's like this person is tapping into their, somebody's divine masculine is elevating in their spirituality here and they're attracted. They're trying to manifest a more happier life. And I feel like this person had to go through a lot of things. See, this person desires abundance here. I feel like they had to go, you know, you know the song, been around the world and now yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. I don't know and I don't know why. Why he's gone away and I don't know where he can be. My baby. But I'm going to find him <laughs> like that because it said you are all I need. It's like maybe they didn't know that you were all that they needed at the time. Because they had to go all around the world. They had to go taste all the other flavors, honey. Just to realize that they had what they needed the whole time. You were abundance. Your divine feminine is abundance here. All right, Spirit, show me what's going on with this divine masculine that we need to be made aware of. Spirit, show me. It's a yearning for your circular. All right, Divine Mask, what you got going on? New love. Ooh. So Divine Mask has got new love in his energy. See, he want love here with this elevation. See, they want abundance and love here. Spiritual, spiritual, spirituality growth, a spiritual, spiritual growth, power, and strength here. So this is what they're, somebody's doing. Somebody's divine masculine is doing some spiritual elevation here because they're longing for new love. And I feel like it's with divine feminine here. They say you are all I need. They didn't know it at the time. They had to, they, look, they had to sample all of the other stuff to realize there's only one you. See, you're not the same person I once knew. What happened? This divine masculine is changing, y'all. Somebody's divine masculine is really doing a complete turnaround here. This divine masculine is leaving negative karmic energy around uh, 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 in the back. They're walking away from it because they're elevating spiritually. Anytime they come out of the darkness and go into the light, a lot of darkness don't want to follow. And now those old people, those old energies are asking them, what happened to you, man? What what? Man, oh man, you must have been going to church. Oh no, man. And then I hear you go with that shit. Oh god damn, nigga. God damn. I hear you go. I guess you're gonna say you don't eat pork too. Or what you trying to say? What, what, you, you trying to say you're a Muslim now, some shit, nigga. What the what, 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 what you trying to say? And all they doing is trying to elevate spiritually so that they can have some happiness in their life. And the people around them just don't understand, y'all. Because they can't even think above where they're at or what they see but for some reason this divine masculine has a vision here they see from their third eye here it's like their ancestors are aiding and assisting them here they're not fighting this human this human journey alone here look i don't want to be a player no more money making ideas see they thinking about partnerships and shit they said man you trying to do that same old shit y'all can have that shit I don't want no four, five, six baby mamas and shit. I don't want no STD, man. I'm tired of that shit, man. Being a player is expensive. Dude, I'm tired of my tires getting slotted. Dude, I'm tired of my windows getting knocked out, dude. I'm telling you, dude, I'm tired. I had to grow up. That's what happened. You want to know what happened to me, man? I just had to fucking grow up. My mind is on my money and my money on my mind with this new love here. Which is divine feminine. That's who they want. Because you know, you know, you it, you are all I need with them. You know who they talking about. They don't want none of the people who they had in the past. 
Because that, that was in their, their uh, lower selves. Look, see, there they go with that. Where did you get that good pussy from? See, they thinking about me. They see that the, they know divine feminine got that good, good. Divine feminine got that healing love. Oh, they they they're kind of sentimental towards divine feminine right now. It's like whoever this divine masculine is, as as they continue to grow and elevate spiritually, it comes them, y'all. It's like it comes a a beast. It's like beauty and the beast in this thing here. Ooh, somebody's coming them. It's like the thought of divine feminine comes them here. Look, they thinking about making love to her. See, at least they ain't thinking about humping her and just beating her back out. They want to make love to her because they are in love with her. Ooh, there is a difference now. Look, you got this with the two souls coming together to create greatness. Oh, 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 I forgot who had that thing. Oh, oh, some of you Scorpios with y'all divine masculine here with them same cars coming out. Money making ideas, love making. Somebody doesn't want to be a player anymore. And people are asking them, man, what happened to you? You're not the same person I once knew. What happened? It's because their mind is on money and making love and building uh, with someone who they love. Two souls coming together to create greatness. That's what the divine masculine and divine feminine was supposed to be doing anyway. That's what they're supposed to be doing. But the divine masculine needed to elevate spiritually. But it can't be no one person elevated spiritually because the other person not going to get it. You're supposed to be two souls coming together. Equally yoked. Uh, two minds becoming one. Oh. What else is going on with this divine masculine spirit that we need to know? I feel so safe. I feel so See, ooh, I heard that shit. Inner knowing here. They just know that you're the one. Look, look. Let me show you how a real man loves. Oh, God damn. Damn. Go on, Divine Masculine. I say you better talk your shit and get your girl. They got an inner knowing. They know that it's Divine Feminine. This is so beautiful. You are all I need. How you know you really... Now, how you really know you need me? It's an inner know, baby. It's an inner knowing. It, it, it's something that I feel spiritual. I can't explain it. I mean, no more than tell you. It, it, it's just a spiritual thing. It's your energy. Look at here. They said, come on, baby. Let me show you how a real man loves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because see, baby, I wasn't ready to love you in the past because I wasn't ready to put away my player ways. But right now, baby, I don't want to be a player. I've had to go within. I've had to heal my childhood issues. I had to stop taking out my frustration out on you because of my mama issues. I had to grow spiritually. And now I know I'm I know that I'm for you. All I can think about is making love to you. Like a real man loves a woman. It ain't gonna be no night of wands energy. I'm not gonna rush in here and violate you and use you. No, that, that was the dark of me. That was the immature, vain, carnal minded lust for me. I, I have changed, baby. If you just let me show you, I promise you I can show you how a real man loves you. If you just give me a chance. Ooh shit. Talk that shit, man. You better go get your child. You better go get her. Because if you don't, the universe is going to send your divine feminine a new love. And you don't want that to happen now. You got time before it get cold. <laughs> she got to stay warm some kind of way. What she been doing all these winters when you been out here trolloping and things. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying here. Give me another card for this spirit. Ooh. They said, let me show you how a real man loves. Ooh, they on some real shit, ain't they? <laughs> Look at that. It's lonely without you. See? Ooh, it's lonely without you. They said divine feminine. Baby, baby, baby. Ooh, don't you know it's so lonely without you? It's so, so lonely. It's just not the same. You know, the food don't taste like it used to for some reason. You know, I don't hear the birds chirping and singing to me when you used to be by me, baby. It just, everything seems so tasteless and so dull. I just feel like I'm so alone. And the reason why they feel so alone is because 
Y'all two souls have not come together to create this greatness. Ooh, snap. Ooh, that's so sweet. That This is so sweet. It's so sweet. That's sweet here. That is so beautiful. See? Y'all supposed to create abundance here. Look at that. The divine master says divine feminine. It says you're special. You're angelic. For some of y'all divine feminists, for your divine mass, and you just don't know you were sent here for that divine purpose to pull to help heal your divine masculine because they need that softer side. They need that feminine energy here to bring balance and compassion and to bring them aware so that they can have this knowing here. So they can have this elevation in their spirituality because they're, they've been chasing the worldly things from a carnal earthly realm but they should their approach need to be from a spiritual perspective but it, it can't come from a damaged dark place this is why they have a lack of even if they're even if they're manifesting money it doesn't last long it's some type of negative attachment to it until they they you know be in this manifest the magician energy in their spiritual power then things are going to line up right in their manifesting but when they try to do it in their lower self side it's not going to last here. Ooh, Divine Master said, there go my baby. Yeah. Ooh, Divine Master talking shit. He said he want to make love. He said, baby, I don't want to fuck you. Baby, no, this is going to take a while to unplug the phone. You know what? Let's go take a getaway trip. This is going to take some time. <laughs> I'm going to take my time in this kitty cat, baby. Spirit is telling somebody to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like it's the divine masculine. You know you're going to think positive once you st start uh, tapping into your, 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 your spiritual power. It's going to bring growth to you. Elevation brings uh, abundance here. So their whole, mindset, their whole mindset becomes positive then. Ooh. Now, I saw it is safe for you to love in reverse. Now, I know that that's divine feminine. Divine feminists don't still don't trust you, though, divine masculine. You got to, I mean, and they and most divine feminists are elevating spiritually, too, but it's just they don't trust you. You deserve love. You are lovable. They say divine, divine feminine deserves love. They know you deserve love, but I feel like the universe is telling you both that you deserve love together. It's like you deserve this love together. You deserve to love your divine masculine and be in a relation and a union with them just like they deserve to be with you too. And you got them behind the scenes setting it up. You, you know how you have your homeboy, your homegirl. Let's say you're going to gatherings and everybody else got relationships but the, but the, the single people, the, the couples be behind the scenes trying to secretly set you up and shit. So you got the universe that's behind the scenes secretly finna set y'all up. Look at that arrow. They say that they don't even know. And you know it's true. Look at all this good ass energy. Oh, this is some beautiful energy here. See, the universe is about to cook y'all up here. Oh, the universe is about to help y'all get together here. See, I see it is safe for you. See, that's what it is, spirit. Thank you. See, some of y'all, it is safe for you to love. I feel like this is for divine feminine. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But I feel like the divine feminines got their hearts uh, closed off right now because they're not trusting it. And then the next card came up. It's trust. Spirit say divine feminine. It said this situation is calling for you to have faith. So see, some, some of y'all divine feminines are going to be feeling this type of way towards this divine masculine. But the universe is telling you you're going to have to trust the situation and have faith. Especially if you feel in this spiritual connection, you manifest it. No one's telling you to go jump like you're jumping, bungee jumping. No, you're the empress. You're the, you're the high priestess. You're the empress. You know your worth. You don't have to chase anyone. I'm telling you, when someone is for you and they're ready, they're going to come to you talking some shit like, let me make love to you, baby. Let me show you how a real man loves you. I'm lonely without you. If there's an inner knowing, I feel this connection. You are all I need. You are special. I feel like you're my angel. When they get to telling you that type of shit, telling you that they have money-making ideas, that they were trying to build in a union, and they don't want to be a player anymore, shit, that means that you can at least give them a chance, I feel like, or you can tell that at least they're trying to make some changes here. 
I feel like it's going to come a time here soon where y'all going to have the opportunity to really sit down and really talk about some things here. Divine Masculine wants to talk. It says heart-to-heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Some of you Divine Feminines are going to get a chance to really open up and talk to your Divine Masculine. And you're going to talk to your Divine Masculine. And their energy is going to be so on point. You, you're, going to, you're going to be compelled to really open up and really get it all out. You remember those times when you just needed you needed clarity, you needed closure, you needed all of these questions answered that I don't care how many times you hear tarot, you really would have rather heard it from the horse's mouth. This person's going to open up because it's coming from a mature mind. They know that they owe you this, especially if they're trying to be with you. And I feel like Spirit is telling you to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to don't try to put up your defense. After all, if you're just conversating with them, it's not gonna hurt you. Let go of control issues. You'll be amazed at what's gonna happen. You're gonna find out that there is a whole lot of chemistry still between you and your divine masculine. Yeah, they may have went all over the world and I I I, I had to hit everything else. This is why they say you're all I need. They had to find out the hard way. Or was it the hard way? Maybe it was destiny. Maybe it was written for, in their contract for them to do this. But please believe there is stri- still the spiritual connection. That magnetic attraction is still between the two of you. And this is the type of energy that's going to pull you together. Two souls coming together to create greatness. This is this chemistry that's going to do it. So you know, some of y'all are going to end up sitting there having this long conversation, this open heart. They're going to tell you a lot of things. And guess what, uh, Cross Watchers, Divine Feminine? It ain't even going to hurt you, honey. You're going to be so surprised. It's not even going to hurt you. Why? Because they're in their power now. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna guard your emotions. They're going to look out for you. They're going to talk to you in a gentle way, and they're going to regard your feelings as if they love you. Because every other time they were selfish because they were in their lower self size and they needed to heal just like everyone else. But this particular time, they're going to lay it all out and it's going to be for real. And the Spirit's going to tell y'all, you give them a chance now. You at least give it a chance. God dang, give it a chance. Give it a chance here. Let me pull some of these cards right here. I'm going to wrap it up for this Divine Master. This is beautiful. Kudos to you, Divine Master. You better go on and get your, your boo for somebody else to match you up now. We go to a uh, judgment card. See you. Still, I'm telling you, your divine masculine. I feel like whenever you run into your divine masculine for whoever this positive spiritual evolution evolving energy is for this divine masculine. They're going to look so fucking fine. I'm telling you, they're gonna, honey, you're going to want to hump them right then and there. I'm just keeping it real. And please believe when they see you, they're going to want to hump you too. But they're going to hump you as if you are a husband and a wife that truly, truly loves each other and really is going to build with each other. There is a difference to some side chick that they try to treat you like or some hidden jump off chick, chick or some shit. No, this person learned some lessons here. And they know that it's you that they need. They're lonely without you. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for this divine mask on here. What do we need to know? What's going on here? King of Pentacles, see? See, I feel like this divine mask is going for this money, but they're going for stability in a partnership because after all, you got money making ideas. See, they're looking for a partner now. Equal give and take here. They're, they're looking to establish something. All right, Spirit, show me Divine Masculine's energy. Show me y'all dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn here. Doesn't have to be, but they and they, they got money making ideas going on here. Ooh, snap. Ace of Wands. See? It's going to be so beautiful. Ace of Wands said, Tell you they got a lot of passion for you. you that's their chemistry. But like I said, it's money-making ideas, but they want to build so much more. This is part of the money-making ideas with this Ace of Wands here, along with this boss energy. Oh, yeah, y'all can create some greatness because, remember, it's supposed to be two souls coming together to create greatness, and this is exactly what you two are coming in to do here. Finally.
Nine of Pentacles here. So, this Divine Masculine is single. So I feel like whatever other attachment that they were with, they're no longer attached to those things anymore. I feel like all the third parties, they disconnected from them because they're trying to come in to you the right way here. See, they on that money. You see them pinnacles. And this person is regretful. They do regret a lot of things that happened between the two of you in the past. They wish it. It's like, you know, when you, when you come out of the dark, it's almost like, let's say a drunk person. When you get drunk, you get to doing and saying all types of things and you just forget all about it. You just you just lose your mind. But as you become sober, people begin to, some people, if they record you or get to showing you how you behave under that influence, you start not liking what you see. And I feel like this evolution in their spiritual growth has really had them regretting a lot of things from their past because now they're really seeing themselves in their higher self they're looking down at how they were in their lower self size to you. And they know that you were special. They like, damn, you angelic. And they was looking all over the world for somebody who they already had. So it's, it's, it's the life choices that have them uh, kind of regretful here. Because they, they, they looking at all of the choices that they made here. But they're moving ahead, though. They're moving towards karma wise, and I feel like they have. And I feel like they also want this with uh, divine feminine. They don't want any confusion. They want peace and harmony. They want peace and harmony in their life. See? This is all they do is reminisce and think about her. For some of y'all, your divine masculine is, is recovering from childhood issues. Things that this ele elevation in this spiritual power, spiritual growth has did a lot of things because I feel like the things that they were regretting, things that they may have not shared with you. But I can tell you some of these things were money related. This is why they're sitting, this is why they always got thinking about money. This is why you got the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Some of them, when they were a child, they, they didn't have a lot of things. And they did a number on them. It, they, they never grew up past feeling uh, insecure and uh, not good enough because no one showed them any attention. They were just left to, to, to fend for themselves here. You know, kind of like scrounging, I feel like. So I feel like they regret a lot of things. Not just divine feminine, but a lot of things. Things that even got them to the place where they're feeling. But I also feel like they moved past a lot of things that kept them back from their childhood. They probably made peace with the things that took place as their childhood too. But a lot of things that they're reminiscing about that they're making peace with, and some of that has to deal with divine feminine. They can't get her off of their mind. They say, I think of it. They think about her all the time. They realize she's the one that they need. It's been her the whole time, but they didn't know it. They, they had to grow up. Some of y'all divine masculines are really growing up because they're tapping into their power because they can't get it any other way. It's like they didn't got their ass beat so bad by life and by karma until they've had to go within or snap. See? King of Wands energy here. So you also have another masculine energy here. Now this could be their ego. Now they could still they could be still fine as hell. Like I said, they could still be fine as hell. And they want to make a good impression on, on divine feminine. So this is a go-getter type of energy here. What else, Spirit, about this Divine Masculine? So there, I feel like this is something that Divine Feminine has waited for, a solid, reliable, stable offer. And I feel like they're coming in with it. I feel like the delay is over here. Because you got the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. And we know the King of Wands takes action. And you got the Six of Swords. So there is some movement here. So if this person was in the dark in the past and they needed enlightenment, I feel like they, they have searched. They, they're at a place where they know what they need. They understand things now. This is why you have inner knowing. They, ha they have an inner knowing now. Their, their path is laid before them now. It's open. It's clear. It's precise. So now they're coming in with communication or moving fast here towards divine feminine. Because I feel like that's who they go. Look. And they come in in their power to claim their throne back, god dang me. 
This got dang me a uh, divine masculine and came back and claimed their freaking throne, got dang it. Ooh, the emperor, which is divine masculine here. I hear you, divine masculine. Show out then. Ooh. <laughs> Show me some more energy for this emperor, this divine masculine spirit. Ooh. Go ahead then. They're not indecisive anymore. I feel like once they stood in their power, everything started lining up and balancing in itself out here. They don't have to juggle things. They're not indecisive. They know what they want. They're taking action. They're they're taking they're in control of themselves. Finally, it's like they're they're in control. I feel like this is refreshing. And now they're going after someone who they have emotions for. They in, they got somebody who in love with them. Somebody who they say makes them happy could be a Leo. They're going after somebody who they know is emotional for them. They're going after somebody who's been trying to offer them their cup for the longest. But they was too busy being the playboy to accept it. Ooh, but now they don't want to be a player no more. Ooh, snap. See? They see progress here. They And there is progress. Divine Femme, you're going to be able to see progress in this person, too. You're going to see the change in this person. Looking with me, they said that's what you're gonna get every day. This divine mask and ready to make love, god dang it. <laughs> they said, come on, baby, let's go on and build this mother freaking house, baby. What you waiting on? I'm ready. See, this gonna be start being communication here. This divine mask has been manifesting their asses off now that they're tapped into their spiritual power here. Look at that higher fence. This person is ready to settle down and commit now. I hear you, Divine Mask and Divine Mask are ready to settle down and commit. Where you at, girl? Divine Mask is ready to settle down and commit. See? They closed out cycles. They closed out cycles that held them back. They walked away from disappointments and things like that. They ended all of the heartbreak. They're not doing this shit no more. They're not even in their energy no more. See, they walked away from all. They walked away in search of something that's gonna make them happy. And this divine, this this divine masculine is fighting. God dang me! This is why the emperor showed up. They fighting for their life now that they didn't tap into some type of spiritual power here. She, this divine masculine is going on to the top, and they mean business too. They ain't playing no games. You better not get in their way. And I feel like a lot of people ain't gonna like it. A lot of people ain't going to like it, but they can't stop them because they this is their new beginning. This is part of their elevation for their abundance. They're going to be mad because they moving forward. Ooh, they moving forward towards divine feminine. That's where they going. They moving towards the thing that makes them happy here. Look, Ace of Cups, they finally going to come in and bring that off. Look, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm looking for you, Empress, where you at? Because I know you in here somewhere where you at. Queen of Pentacles here. See, they the king of pentacles. They looking for a missus. I'm telling you, they looking for they looking for somebody. I'm telling you, looking for the empress. <coughs> this divine master made up their mind. <coughs> they know what they want in this king of swords energy. They looking for this person who was trying to offer them their cup of love. They looking for somebody who is loyal and devoted to building them up and building a life with them. With this ace of wands, this four of wands, this ace of pentacles, and this freaking... Ace of Cups. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm telling you. A partnership with your two of cups. And it's going to make a whole bunch of folks mad. Y'all going to have a whole bunch of haters, too. This divine masculine is, they're, they're fighting their way out of situations. They had to, it's almost like somebody had to fight their way out the freaking hood here. They getting away from things here. Putting to death to certain things here. Ending things. See, this, this divine mask and cut out all of the negative shit around them. They, they're looking for healthy, wholesome. They're looking for love. 
They're looking for love, y'all. Knight of Wands. I feel like they're this they they got a lot of passion for you here. And they're gonna come in here communicating with you. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. See, this divine masculine's coming in here to fight for their divine feminine. This emperor is fighting for this empress. They may have had to fight some, they had some challenges to, but I feel like of course they did. This is why they were in separation to begin with. But this is your divine person here. Even if divine feminine didn't show up, I see her, her um, I see her energy in here. They looking for love though. Some of y'all dealing with the Leo. Yep. That's what it is. King of Cups. This divine mask is still in love with divine feminine. You see the Queen of Cups right here. They still in love with her. That's why you got the Two of Cups right there. Ooh, I feel love, y'all. This is a divine masculine got the energy of love in his heart towards his divine feminine and this current energy. King of Wands, he got this action. He's confidence. His confidence has been restored. He's feeling himself. He's going to take action. He's not afraid no more. Ooh, wow. The fool card. They go to fool card here. They done took a leap of faith and they done stepped out on their faith to leave out things that no longer serve them, leave family and friends. See, and they done had a major, major breakthrough in their life. See, Judge McCarty, they done had a major awakening. See, I told you, with the spiritual ooh, power, they done had this divine master had a major breakthrough which, through their awakening. The universe has spiritually awakened this divine masculine. And they coming in for their divine feminine. They coming in. And this is a beautiful reading. All right, y'all. This is what I have for you. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, collectives.